In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus towards you. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 18. Hello family, a very warm welcome back to the Lovey Starch Food channel. Let's make this gorgeous, very delicious Ghanaian good meat jollof rice that is going to put smiles on everyone else's face. This good meat jollof rice must be present on the holiday menu for sure to make everything complete. Let's get started with this film. So here we have our local goat meat with its skin on. It's about two kilos. And to that we have our chopped canned tomatoes, tomato paste, some chopped white red and spring onions. And I also do have some seasoning here. There are lots. I'll list each and every one in the description box. I also do have my yasmin rice and our oil and of course some salt and peppers to go with it. All right. So to begin with, I'm going to blend all my natural ingredients here. I have my onions, ginger, garlic, some anise seed, rosemary, some African nutmeg, cloves, and a bit of parsley. I'll add a little bit of water. If you miss any ingredients, please check below in the description box. Everything is listed there, all right? And you make sure you blend it until they are very smooth. This is what we are going to be steaming our goat meat with. So we begin with just that. Just know that goat meat is a very tough tough meat to deal with okay so to season everything up i added a bit of salt a bit of beef bouillon and all my natural ingredient that i blended i'm going to add it here i'm going to go ahead and stir everything to combine and i'll also throw in one scotch bonnet pepper for that extra heat kick i love so much begin by not adding any water cover it allow it to simmer through for about 10 minutes and allow the got me to release its own juices and then add about two cups of water allow this to cook until they are very soft and tender all right this should take you about 40 to an hour depending on how soft you want your good meat to be okay <laughs> so i'm here today to give a special shout out to my dear sister tasty and fresh she is a fellow Ghanaian food content creator i intentionally mention her name here because i know how she loves her jollof tasty and fresh thank you so much sis for the amazing support over the years i have her channel linked below in the description box please do well to subscribe to her channel as well she is amazing so as you can see our gold meat is ready soft and tender we have that beautiful stock out of it which is so so important so i will begin by starting the process of the stew and to the pot i will add my oil it's about a quarter cup of oil and i'll adding lots of the sliced onions i will fry the onions for about a minute and then goes in my tomato paste to that i'll add about a teaspoon of curry powder make sure everything is well mixed and incorporated and then add my blended natural spices which includes my scotch bonnet peppers Do not let any of that beautiful seasoning go to waste. Rinse it off and add it back to the stew. Allow it to fry for about three minutes and then introduce your can chopped tomatoes and mix everything together. Cover it and allow it to cook for the next 20 minutes. about 20 minutes of cooking the stew on a low to medium heat it is very great right here it has splattered as you can see so it's always advisable to cover so it now is the perfect time to add our stock that we got from the goat meat this is to intensify the flavors in the stew when it comes to jollof your stew really really matters right 
when your tomato stew is great you will end up having the most delicious jollof ever so cheers to more aromatics to make this stew even more amazing i have here my all-purpose natural seasoning i've also shared the recipe i'm going to link it here a bit of curry powder bay leaves and now i'm grating about teaspoonful of nutmeg trust it is so much needed in here do not omit nutmeg it's so 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 amazing in stews okay so i'm going to also add my chopped bell peppers i have just the yellow and the red ones mix it all up cover it and allow it to simmer through for about nine minutes and your stew should be ready while waiting i'll then go ahead and fry all my goat meat you can decide to fry this in your air fryer if you have one okay So please, my darlings, be sure to cover it. We do not want you to get hurt at all, okay? So fry on each side for about five minutes and your goat meat should be done. You want it to be very crispy as well. That is how I love mine. But do any how you want it, okay? Um, that's a proper good meat right there <laughs> let's go and check on our stew it's doing amazing the aroma of the stew is just incredibly amazing <laughs> so make sure you don't have any burnt button of the pot okay it's really really important especially if you're making your jollof in the same pot i'm going to scoop a little bit of the stew because i thought it was a little bit too much and i'm going to save it for another recipe watch out for it okay so i'm going to go ahead and now add my washed yasmin rice i use about six cups yes i cooked this in bulk so please be sure to check down below in the description box you just might want to adjust it to your preference okay mix everything together and this is the part that you have to be very careful mind you we have the stock in here okay and we also washed our rice there's lots of water content in here yes it is quite tricky if you wash your rice you add your stock you do not need to add any excess water because your jollof might end up being saggy i do not enjoy saggy jollof there's a lot of people that also enjoy it this way if that is your case add a little bit more water here but i love my jollof singled out okay so i'm going to cover it and allow it to cook for the next 20 minutes on a low to medium heat and you can also witness that we've lost a considerable amount of the liquids in here so it's the best time to cover this with your parchment paper this is going to help cook the rice yes the heat will cook your rice so long as you're using yasmin long grain rice you are good okay so we covered the rice for another 20 minutes yes jollof needs patience if you want to jollof to be perfect you have to get all the patience in the world yes this is 20 minutes later it's getting there so at this point i'll add my fried goat meat every goat meat or every meat at all has a bit of some juices in it so it's going to also release its juices i'm just stressing on the fact that you do not have to add extra water okay make sure everything is well combined and you are going to cover it once again with your parchment paper for another 10 to 15 minutes all right So this is the extra 15 minutes that we gave it it is done but it needs extra five minutes because there's a little bit of grains in here so cover it this time without a parchment paper and this is what you're going to get absolutely delicious 
smells amazing and you are ready to serve this rice it is absolutely delicious and as you can see it is beautiful singled out and very well cooked through without bothering it with lots of water okay please try it i bet you're going to love your jollof more jollof rice seems simple but it's not always the case okay <laughs> it is so so delicious this way i promise you you're going to love it this is finger looking good and everyone that tried this is going to forever be thankful to you all right so sprinkle a little bit more of some spring onions for garnishing and now off to the table it goes absolutely delicious we have this orange and carrot juice that i've also shared on this channel i'm going to link it here just in case you want some inspiration of drinks to have this holiday season you go ahead and try it it was absolutely delicious not forgetting our ghana salad so there you have it family thank you so very much for watching right to the end i really appreciate your time please do not forget to give me a like comment below and share to a few friends and family as well and if this is your first time here hello Hello, my name is Lovia from Lovey Stat. My main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home. I also love to share kitchen related motivational videos. So please come on board and subscribe to join the family for amazing new recipes every week. Thank you so very much family for watching once again. And just know that you are so beautiful just the way you are. See you in my next one. Bye.